everybody. I have a small but very exciting little Ulta fragrance haul to share with you guys. I got a phenomenal deal on something this past week that I wanted to share with you guys. So the fragrance is SJP Stash, Sarah Jessica Parker Stash. And this one has been out for a little while. I first started wearing this. I got a, a gift set last Christmas. And it is marketed as a unisex fragrance. It's very spicy, woodsy, and scentsy. And I really love that type of fragrance. So that's, that's what you got here. Um, when I first got it, the gift set, it had a one-ounce bottle of the Eau de Parfum. It had a purse-sized rollerball, and then it had a tube of body lotion. So I was starting to run a bit low on the little one-ounce spray bottle, so I thought, hmm, I want to stock up on this again before it gets, you know, cool enough to wear my, my favorite spicy, woodsy, and scentsy heavy fragrances. So every once in a while, Ulta will do a deal where they will send out a coupon that you can use on prestige cosmetic brands and fragrances. Most of the time, you can't use any of their coupons or, or discounts, you know, any of their little coupons they send out on prestige and fragrances. But every once in a while, they, they do. And I got one in the mail that was 20% off. So I, I decided to go ahead and... Um, order my rebuild my stash of stash and when I did they were offering an incredible gift with purchase with a $55 purchase they were offering this elixir oil one ounce elixir oil now this in and of itself is $50 okay if you just wanted to buy these this elixir oil it'd be $50 so that is just a ridiculously good deal um, I also had some Beauty Club, I guess, dollars saved up. So I ended up getting, this is the 3.4 ounce of the Eau de Parfum. I ended up getting it for a little bit less than the 1.7 ounce bottle. So, and that was with, with tax. So the total tax shipped, I ended up getting half again as much Eau de Parfum plus the entire bottle of elixir oil, you know, for what I would have paid for the the medium bottle of just the, the Eau de Parfum. So that, that was a phenomenal deal. And this comes in a few different formulas. The lotion was only ever in the gift sets. I haven't seen the lotion for sale on its own. But it comes in a Eau de Parfum elixir spray. It comes in an Eau de Parfum Eau de Parfum Elixir Roller Ball. It comes in a hair fragrance mist and it comes in this elixir oil. And the elixir oil says hair and body elixir oil. Experience stash SJP in its most pure and precious form. A concentrated perfume oil customized for a personal way to wear this intoxicating scent. Use one or two drops to massage into pulse points, smooth into skin, tress throughout your hair, add to bath for a luxurious bathing experience, layer with stash Eau de Parfum Elixir Spray for a full-bodied and long-lasting scent. So this is kind of a, a concentrated oil elixir version of this. And again, this was free. So I've never had the elixir oil before, not even a sample of it. I first thought that the promotion you would be getting a little sample file of this and I wasn't quite sure until I opened the box and then when I did I realized wow you got the $50 bottle of elixir free so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna open this um, I already know what it smells like this is a replacement bottle but I'll go ahead and open it and show you guys what I got well, I was trying to save the little seal and everything, but it doesn't look like that's going to happen. I'll just stick it on the back. Okay. So, let's see if I can get it out of the cellophane. Now, nah, I'm just going to have to whip the cellophane. Oh, well. No biggie. So, this is the packaging. And the box is a really, or the bottle is a really pretty bottle. 
get this open without messing up a nail. I just painted my nails and opened this one. Alright. Whoa! I didn't know it came in a bag. So it comes in a bag. Uh, what was this? Moiré satin. Or like a bengaline. That kind of ribbed satin with a nice gold drawstring. It says stash SJP. This is the bottle. Okay. It is... Just a really pretty basic apothecary bottle with a black label with a little bit of um, a deckled edge and then it has the um, little little gold embellishment that just says SJP on the little cording and it's a spray. So yeah, it's very woodsy. Woodsy, spicy, and scentsy very very nice and this is the 3.4 ounces this is the biggest bottle you can currently get of the out of parfum elixir oil so i'm going to set that aside for right now and i'm going to open the elixir oil itself because i've never had the elixir oil all right Again, let me see if i can get into this without messing up a nail Okay, and it comes packaged in a little plastic tray, and it is like a dropper bottle. Okay. Alright, again, it's got the same exact label. I'm gonna open this up. Like I said, I've never used this. Okay, so it's an eyedropper. We'll go ahead and put a couple drops on. We'll go ahead and close that up. Okay, let's see what the. Okay, it, it is an oil. It is very much an oil. I didn't know if this was going to be one of those things called a dry oil. I don't know if you can see that on my fingers, but it is. It is an oil, like a slick oil. Um, Oh, very heavily scented. It smells slightly different than the um, Eau de Parfum spray. The elixir... The elixir has a little bit of a fresher, lighter fragrance. But it's still... It's still recognizable as stash. It's just a little bit different than the the spray and it's it does start to sink into the skin this is more than would cover just the top of my hand this would probably I could put two drops in my hands rub them together and do my hands my forearms um, yeah a little goes a very long way it's just starting to fully sink into my skin and it does leave your skin very silky and soft. And now it's 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 in. It's not there's no greasy, there's no there's no slickness to it. Um yeah, it's not leaving fingerprints. It's it's in the skin now. So that's quite nice. I like the consistency and as it sinks into the skin and it dries in, it really brings out the the wood of the fragrance so I do like that I'm gonna go ahead and spray the spray the come on there we go okay so again when you first spray this one it's balsamic there there's like a balsam note to it and then I start getting the incense, the wood, the spice, the resin, it's resinous. Almost a church incense kind of a fragrance, if you like the smell of church incense. It smells a little bit like Palo Santo wood to me. It always has. So this is, a, it's an interesting fragrance. I really, really like it. And, um, man, I, I made out like a bandit with um, 
with this. I don't know exactly what I'm going to do with this. I don't really take um, soak in the bathtub baths much. And when I do, I don't like to use oily products because I don't want to like risk slipping getting out. But um, I know I do treat my hair with oil treatments sometimes. Occasionally, I'll just take some coconut oil and work into the ends of my hair. I can see taking the coconut oil and putting like one drop of this in the palm of my hand and mixing it in with the coconut oil and combing that into my hair. And that would be really pleasant to leave on all day or all night And when I do a, a coconut oil pack on my hair. Other than that, I'm not really sure what I'm going to what I'm going to do with it. I, I would think, you know, when it gets cooler and I start wearing more body lotion, unscented lotion, this would be great to put like one drop in the lotion. Um, maybe like one drop, rub it into my hands and run my hands through my hair. I don't know. I'll have to experiment around with this and see what I can do with it. But it's got a very pleasant very pleasant smell. And now that it's on my skin for a while and it's starting to develop, I'm really starting to get the spice notes and the resin notes and I really, really like it. It's really different. It's um, not not what you find on the shelves so much nowadays. So this is one that at first I thought my husband and I could share it. He'll wear it every once in a while, but he thinks... See, here's the thing. If I were to have told him it was a men's fragrance, he would wear it every day. Okay? But since it came from the women's department in Ulta, he didn't want to wear it. But this is no sweeter than... It smells like so many men's fragrances that are that are out, the spicy ones. It seems like the spicy woodsy is getting a little bit of a moment in men's fragrance. <laughs> Um, like Spice Bomb. This is very similar to Spice Bomb in a lot of ways. And he wore Spice Bomb, and I wore Spice Bomb. And I really don't know what to directly compare it to. It's it's not a um, it it's not a clone of anything that I really know of. I've heard it compared to Black Cashmere which is my all-time favorite fragrance, but it's it's not. There are similarities in that it's a spicy, woodsy kind of incense fragrance, but um, Black Cashmere has more spice to it. Black Cashmere has a bit of floral to it, and this really doesn't. But I can see how people could compare it to Black Cashmere. I see how people can compare it to Spice Bomb. It, it has a, a lot of a, a spicy note, but it also has a little bit almost of a soapy note to it. Um, it's it's very unique. And if you're into, into spicy, resiny, woodsy, kind of incense-y fragrances, definitely get yourself up to Ulta and try this one. And I'm really going to be curious to try this new stash that they're coming out with, the, the, what I'm calling pink stash. Um, I can't remember exactly what it's called, but I'm, I'm going to be interested to try that too. I'm thinking that since I just saw a post about it in a fragrance blog, that it's going to be a, a holiday release. So maybe maybe they'll be doing a, a um, promotion at the holidays. But Normally, I'm not so much into floral, fruity fragrances, but sometimes I am. It just depends on the fragrance, so I'm definitely going to want to gonna want to try it. And if it's being sold as a um, fragrance in the stash line, definitely, I, I would definitely want to try it. So, yeah, this is, a, this is a, a good one. And again, that was a phenomenal deal. So, for the cost of a bottle of spray half this size, I got this and this. So, um, yeah, so $50 item free. You cannot beat that. Anyway, that is, that is my, um, little, little fragrance haul for the day. So, that's that, and I will see you guys again soon.